Right, so the first mistake I see a lot of uh, football slash soccer trainers, coaches who are running coaching businesses are doing is they're accepting cash in hand. Okay, so cash in hand is when a parent shows up to your training session, the child trains with you, right? And then after the session, the parent is paying you in cash and you're taking it home. Now, this is probably, I want to say, close to 90, 90, if not higher, percent of all coaches who do private training are running their business this way. And there's a number of reasons why this is a mistake and a number of reasons why you can't grow a business long term using this payment system. So number one is when you accept cash, right, ultimately you're accepting that the client is in control of paying you. So if, if that client wakes up on the Saturday morning or Sunday morning and it's raining outside or something has come up last minute right ultimately you as the trainer as the coach don't get paid for that session okay because if they they're not showing up they're not bringing that money to you so that is one mistake that a lot of coaches are making they're leaving their, their client to be in control of how they get paid right that's the first uh, down or should we say pitfall to receiving cash in hand right the second one is you always have to you can't arrive at a training session right with a, a clear mindset okay now when i started my training business i used to operate mostly of cash in hand but what i started to realize is that i couldn't commit fully to my client because at the back of my head i was always thinking is this parent going to bring me the money? Is this parent going to pay me? Why should I give 100% to this client if the parent isn't going to pay me? Okay, so I was always constantly thinking about whether the parent was going to pay me, was going to bring the money, uh, and what I needed to do if they didn't uh, bring the money and pay me on that day. So I never had a clear mindset going into my training sessions, which ultimately affected the way I felt, uh, the way I communicated with, cl with my clients and the way my training session went. Okay. So once I found an alternative and I started to transition all my payments from cash in hand to online automated system, then training just became about training. I, did, I didn't have to worry about parents paying me or not paying me. All I had to worry about is delivering a good quality session for my clients and making sure that I over deliver in what I've promised. So cashing out is the first mistake I see a lot of football slash soccer trainers doing with their business. All right, second one is they don't have an agreement or a commitment in place for the client so something a lot of coaches are currently doing with their business is they're accepting parents to pretty much text them to see when they're available okay so how most coaches are running their business that do one-to-one -one or small group or or maybe larger groups the way they're operating at the moment and i know spe specifically one-to-one -one trainers operate this way is they'll they'll have all their clients in a whatsapp group and sunday night they'll send out a text message these are the available dates and times for this week and parents will either agree or they will respond back to say we are available or we can't make it and it's a very sporadic and unorganized system. So when you have an agreement in place is there is a written type of contract that you sign with the client once they join your program that states what days and times you guys will be training. So if a client doesn't agree to your terms and conditions, then ultimately they don't become a client of your football academy right 
So what I did at the beginning with my business, I operated a very sporadic way. So I would send parents a text message at the start of the week saying, these are the available time slots. Can you respond back if you can make it? And what I started to see is my income begun to fluctuate, right? It wasn't consistent because I was seeing some clients one week, then I wasn't seeing them again until two weeks later. And because I was operating cash in hand, right? I lost a lot of revenue, a lot of income using that model. So what I started to do is I transitioned to getting everyone onto an agreement and a three month commitment. So that means that I, I was seeing my client at least once a week, every week, okay, at a set day, set time. So no parent could text me the day before or the week before to say, right, Leah, we can't make it this day, this day or time because of X reason, right? Everything was set in place, everything was streamlined, and this made the business a lot easier to run because I could I could schedule my personal things and my personal life around my training sessions. I didn't have to move my personal things around to fit the client's times, okay? So once you have an agreement in place, you could they your parent will agree to your set terms, set, set conditions, and your business will become streamlined, and they will know that Tuesday, 5 p.m., we have a training session with Leo every single Tuesday. Okay, so every single Tuesday from 5 to 6, my son will be training with Leo. This is what we've agreed on. This is what we've signed on. Okay, so I, will, I want to say about 95 percent of all trainers who do one-to-one -one training do not have an agreement in place with their clients okay and this is a massive mistake a lot of coaches are making with their business now the third and final one is again another very common one and it's another one that can really destroy your business especially in the long term and this is accepting anyone into your ecosystem so when you accept anyone, that means you are just accepting people for the short term, right? You're not accepting committed clients who are the right fit for your program. Now, a mistake I made with my business at the beginning was when I was starting up, I had the mentality that I was going to train anyone, right? Now, at the beginning, that, that works really well because you want to get known, you want to get in front of people. But as you start to build a clientele base, right, you need to start to filter out those clients that aren't committed long term. Okay, because what happens is if you start to accept anyone and you don't have a proper process in place to filter clients out who aren't a right fit, then your business will break because you will accept clients that are only going to be with you for maybe two training sessions per, per month or they see you once a month and ultimately you can't run a successful long-term business with uncommitted clients, right? So when you accept the right clients, you're accepting someone that accepts your, agrees to your terms and conditions. They agree to come in once a week to your training sessions, set day, set time. They agree to sign the agreement with you. And they agree that all payments must be made online and not, and that your business does not accept cash in hand. Okay. So when you accept a parent that agrees to all your terms and conditions, they're committed for three to six or maybe 12 months, your business will go from here and will continue to grow. Okay. Not only will your business grow, your income will grow every month, It'll, your business will become more steady, and ultimately, you will start to enjoy working with the clients that you have, and you won't have a headache every time you work with a specific client, okay? So, if this video has helped, right, what I want you to do is reach out to me, okay? Two ways you can reach out to me if you want to schedule a call with me to talk about your business, 
whether you're starting a business, whether you're, you have some clients and you're looking to grow to the next level, okay, reach out to me. My cal Calendly link is in the description of this video. Click on it. You can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute Zoom call with me. We'll jump on, on a call. I'll ask you a couple of questions, give you a, bit, a couple of strategies that we've used with other coaches, or you can simply send me a direct email to my email, which is make money, co make money coaching sports at gmail.com. And I make it my mission every single day to respond to all coaches. Okay, so thank you for, for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.